it's Codemaster Hard Rock. I'm here with a very special guest, something that very much hits the geek spot for me. It's Mark Thompson. Hello there. <laughs> oh my god, this is so, th this really hits the geek spot. So for those who don't know, uh, feel free to correct me, by the way. Um, you are the voice of Kaor, Peyton, Hearing, and Nadrin, is that right? That is right. Wow, that that <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, considering <laughs> I'll be cosplaying Kaor soon, this very much is the wow. spot. Um, so I get I have like this little list of questions for you, and if you don't know the answer, feel free to be perfectly honest, be unfiltered as possible. Um, okay. So, yeah. So I guess we'll just start from there. Uh, I guess my first question: How is the experience working for Chaotic and Four Kids? It was really cool. Like, um, Four Kids was kind of this magical time for me because I that that was kind of like the like Pokemon was like the well. Okay, let me back up. Daria was the first thing I ever did, and that was a big deal. But then I kind of um, didn't work for a while, and then I auditioned for Pokemon. I got some stuff on Pokemon, and then Four Kids acquired the rights to do Pokemon. So then once I got in through that, they were like this cartoon factory. And like, it was like amazing. Cause they, they had like four studios and you would just kind of get passed around from show to show. And there was this really cool community of actors there. And, you know, it was like, they had that whole Saturday morning block of TV that they had to fill. So you just got to work so much and get to know all these people and so it was it was really cool for for a long time it was like this like you know hub of of, of work and fun and activity and community and and uh so i really loved it I, I really loved working over there um and then uh for chaotic it was super exciting at, at first because it was like the first time that we were well I, I guess i should that's also a mistake like turtles we were kind of doing that from scratch and that was right. a lot of fun to do, but that was an existing property. So chaotic was like the first time that they were kind of trying to start something purely from scratch. Uh, no existing IP, uh, it wasn't a dubbing, a show that had been done in some other country, like it was purely new and we got to totally create the characters and, and seeing the art come in as you were, you know, voicing stuff and, and seeing the concept art I was like oh this is really cool and, and you know so and it was and I love the humor of that show and uh you know it was so so I, I really loved work, working on it I was a little I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't take off uh and I was kind of shocked that you wanted to do this interview because you're you're the first uh like fan I've met of chaotic like mm -hmm. most people I haven't met anyone that really knew the show or, or liked the show and uh so it, it's it's it was I was interested to to hear what your experience was with it because I always thought the show was really great, but it just I, I guess it didn't really hit the mainstream or kind of you know take off the way some of the other shows did. Well, it definitely picked up an underground audience to the point where I've been talking with uh, the series. I guess new creator. I don't know how else to put it, uh, but with Brian Gannon, I've been in touch with him. And they're looking to bring the series back. Whether or not they want to do a season four or not, that's sort of up in the air. Which is going to be my next question. Do you know anything about that or anything in terms of the relaunch? No, that's you're the first person telling me about it. So that's, that's exciting to hear. That's well, great. Well, there you go. I'm glad I could bring light to, you know, your, your life. <laughs> What, is the is four kids involved or is or no some other four company? kids? Unfortunately, well, I should say fortunately, depending on how you view it. Um, four mm. kids uh, got brought down, and now Brian took chaotic to a company called Epic Story Media, and they're going to mm. be relaunching mm. the game. And right now, the show's available on YouTube through Epic Story Media's YouTube channel, um, uh. as well as a YouTube channel specifically dedicated to chaotic. So you can definitely check it out through there. Oh. Um, so did he just acquire the rights or was he part of yes. the original team? Yeah, or from I don't my know. knowledge, it seems like he acquired the rights, kicked four kids down the curb, and four kids is no longer even a thing. Um, wow. Yeah, so it's under his hands now, so I don't know what wow. else is going on beyond that, so. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Um, so my next question, did you ever own any chaotic cards or do you know how to play the game upon either launch or you even auditioning? Uh, no, unfortunately I did not. I think I may have owned, I think I may have owned some cards at one point. And was, am I remembering this wrong? Was there a K or action figure? There actually, yes, there was. Here, give me one small moment. Um, it wasn't really an action figure necessarily, but it was definitely, uh, it was like a miniature, like a Dungeons and Dragons style miniature. Yeah. Yes, like yes, this. yes. Yeah, that's what they had. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think I remember having the little figurine or the whatever it is, but yeah. Wow. That's, that's nutty. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I always had this impression that the people who have either worked on the show or worked on something always had product up their stuff. I didn't know how that worked. Well, I, 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 mean, it, I mean, every once in a while we would get a free deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something like that. But like most of the time I had to like go to Walmart and try to find the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. Uh, like and, the uh, rest of us. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh. But uh, yeah, so but I I I, I do remember uh, the K or something or other, and uh, yeah, so that that's pretty cool. Um, so my next question: uh, What did you have to do in order to transition yourself from somebody who's like Nadra, who's basically Gandalf, to somebody who's as wild as Peyton? You know what? How did you have to <laughs> put yourself in that position, and how did you decide that's what the characters are going to sound like or be like? Uh, what was that process? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of it is a, is a big collaborative process between the writers and the director and, and, and obviously the concept art and stuff. So a lot of that stuff was kind of things they were asking me to try to, you know, imbue those characters with uh, based on kind of the way they were seeing them in the writing process. So, um, you know, uh, Peyton was very loosely based on like a jack black type energy and like character you know <laughs> so um and he, he was very fun to do um and then you're right uh i i based uh nadrin on my version of a gandalf and uh you know you shall not pass oh my god and then awesome. they just like you know put gravel in your throat and gargle and and, and try to get the words out. <laughs> Man, that's that was incredible. I mean, my brother and I, we always had this theory that Payne was like a miniature Jack Black. So yes. <laughs> glad that that, we that, like that's it confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess my next question, I guess it's not really necessarily a question, but it's more of a, a feel-good thing to put out there. So for some context, I am working on AKOR Cosplay for the relaunch, and... My grandfather, who raised me, so he's like my dad, Kaor was his favorite creature, and it was the oh, voice nice. that drew him in, other than just his appearance. So how does it make you feel knowing that there's definitely people, whether it's like Kaor, even when you did Megatron, uh, people who are fans of yours who are fr ranging from 60 years old to people way past their 60s, you know, that could just oh, pick up that it's you. <laughs> that's amazing. Like, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I uh, it, it, it's, it's, you, you don't realize that when you're recording it, like you don't realize that, you know, it, it could, uh, mean something like that to someone, uh, until much later after the fact, like, like I said, like, I didn't know, uh, who was watching the show or even if people liked it, you know, until like you reached out to me. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, I'm yeah. part of this that group one. of chaotic of the video that you're probably wondering hey where's the rest of the interview <laughs> well uh good news bad news good news is i did write down the rest of the questions that i asked mark thompson but the bad news is unfortunately the original files got corrupted so you're kind of left with me you know answering you know the important stuff for you in this sort of format so i guess like the last few questions that i asked for him was you know, where does he want to see Chaotic uh, go in the future? To which he responded with, he think it would be cool to see the kids, you know, in the future where they have their own kids. Like, for example, like, 
Payton has his own son or daughter or whatever, and they're getting into chaotic in the new season or whatever could involve them, you know, learning how to play the game or maybe even pick up exactly where they left off, you know, just kind of go like, here's what happened in between and kind of just go from there. But that was him. And not to mention one of my last questions, of course, was, you know, if you could come back, would you, you know, want to, you know, jump back onto working for Chaotic again? And then he said, absolutely. So there you guys go. That was the interview with Mark Thompson. I mean, there's a few personal details that got cut out. I mean, I am getting a card signed by him. So there you go. Um, but with that being said, I did try to get in touch with some other Chaotic creators. And if I can, I will definitely make videos about, you know, those specific encounters. But, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what comes out in the future. But with that being said, Mark Thompson, I know you're probably watching this and you were absolutely a wonderful person to have. If I could do an extra interview with you in the future, I'm sure we'll, we'll make some arrangements. But with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Be sure to like and subscribe to Codemaster Hard Rock. <laughs>